Now, as you will see during the talk, Brownian motion and the associated dynamics of proteins who are sustaining our life cycle in all of us are dependent on temperature. That's what I'm going to talk about. Now, why are we interested in protein dynamics? I give you an example. I grew up on a farm. Farm in Switzerland have nice cows. This particular cow carries flowers because it goes on vacation into the Alps so that it produces clean milk to make the top-notch Swiss cheese. In the 1990s, we were at the high point of a crisis, the mad cow disease crisis, which was comparable to what we more recently experienced with COVID-19. Some of you may recall. And our nice cows turned into miserable creatures. I mean, they don't turn from yellow to black. These are two different cows. <laughs> this, one, this one is from England. The nice one was from Switzerland. <laughs> there is a protein that's behind this disease. It's called the prion protein. We solved that structure with NMR. We found out that half of the protein is highly dynamic. It's a white part of the polypeptide changes its shape at very high frequency. I'm talking about 10 to the 10 per second or thereabouts. And if we superimpose snapshots taken over two nanoseconds, we get this sort of a picture. 